some work to do. What are you doing? Man, what are you talking about? Man, I'm doing it smells good in here. What you got on? Babe. Mm, mm, mm. It smells real good. It's the dossier, babe. You talking about this right here? Yes, it's dossier. We're doing a, a, a commercial for dossier. Babe, you didn't know what? Well, I didn't know it was a dossier, like the uh, Russian dossier or the dossier. Like babe, no, it's no collusion, babe. Get out. Okay, all right. Is it this that you smell? Yes, it is. Smells How good. you know been back there? Well, I'm, I'm reaching for it. Yes. Oh, wow. That's Bye, babe. Really good. Real good. What? Where do we to go? Out. Russia? Yes, girl, it's time for a get ready with me. Actually, this is not even a get ready with me. This is makeup with a message, okay? Makeup, hello, hello. This is makeup with a message, girl. This is your resident fat girl, Joya Moore, and I am here. Listen, this, this video is a video for all videos, okay? So this is from my original 18 Queens. If that's you, get down in the comments and let, let your girl know that you got showed up. This is going to be a collaboration with Dossier Perfume. I absolutely love to, I love to, love Dossier Perfume. It's a fair alternative to luxury perfumes. Now the two types that I brought, last time I brought more masculine, today we're doing more feminine. We've got some flirty, Floral and fruity fragrances. Floral, wait, flirty, floral, and fruity <laughs> fragrances that I absolutely love. So one of them that I got is the Yank Floral Lang Lang. Why does that sound funny to me? Does that sound funny to me? To y'all? I don't know, but I absolutely love it. The top notes in the Floral Lang Lang is lily grapefruit blackberry the middle notes are lang lang tuberose jasmine musk orange blossom and orris the inspiration is inspired by chanel number one not number five okay Thank you so much. We have made it our mission to deliver only the best quality luxury inspired fragrances at a fair and transparent place and allow you to explore our new scents. Let's talk about how this works, okay? Any scent you order, okay, comes with a little sample that you can try and test before opening your 50 ml amount. Now, I really like that. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. The one that came with the, the Lang Lang, that's the Chanel fragrance. I've been carrying that one around in my purse. Not because I wanted to test to see if I like it, but I just felt like, y'all look at it. Let me just, I'm just gonna be real with y'all, look. That just tells you it smells good. This Lang Lang is a floral scent, okay? It has very floral, strong undertones. I would spray it at the bottom of my body, not too close up to the top, but more towards the bottom, okay? So that's the floral Lang Lang. I'm sorry, Dossier, but I have been carrying this in my pocketbook because the other one is too heavy to carry in my pocketbook. Now, this one is a Fruity Magnolia. I've been using that one as well. Let's just keep it real. Y'all know I keep it real. And this one, to me, though, is very floral as well. Oh, my God. Y'all, I'm real funny about fragrances. You know, being a thick girl, you know, they be tripping talking about you got bad, your girl got bad hygiene. And I ain't got time for that. So listen, y'all go on over there to Dossier and get you guys some of this Dossier fragrances. Listen, it's Christmas time. It's simple and easy. Very nice. Very simple packaging. It smells, y'all, this stuff smells good. I recommend the this one, the Lang, the Lang Lang, Lang, Yang Lang, the one that's like the Chanel. That's one of my favorite. The other one that I love, these two are my favorite, okay? And that's the Fruity Magnolia and the Lang Lang. Y'all tell me, am I saying that right? It's Y-L-A-N-G. Anyway, they're clean, they're vegan, cruelty-free, risk-free, and they're made in France. And the way they're risk-free is that if you don't like them and you want to exchange it, don't use this one, okay? When you get it, because I know you're going to go order it. When you get it, don't use the big one. Don't even touch it. Take your sample. Don't spray it on yourself because, you know, you start mixing all them stuff together. It starts smelling crazy. Spray it on something. And then let it, you know, air it out. 
and then see how it smells. I love it. To me, the I haven't smelled one that I didn't like. And this is my fourth fragrance from them. And I'm not, knock on wood, I haven't smelled one that I didn't like. Y'all carry on over there to the dossier, okay? It's down there in the description box, all the information that you need. Y'all, these companies that come to me and that value me and treat me really well, I really want you guys to go over there and support them. You guys know I wouldn't tell you to buy something that I don't believe in myself. Now, when this runs out, now that other one, I'm not going to buy. But when this one, the Lang Lang and the Fruity Magnolia, when they run out, I'm going to, um, I'm definitely going to replace those because I get compliments. I don't know if people be trying to be funny, but if I don't be surprised, a fat girl smell good. Us, us fat girls like to look good and smell good, period. Anyway. Let me get off of that. Y'all get on over there to Dossier, okay? And you guys can go online to their website. It's very user-friendly, very simple, and see which fragrance are they imitating. So if you've smelt those fragrances before, like Chanel Light Blue, you know, Lancome, um, you know, those different uh, types of designer fragrances, if you've smelt them before, it will give you an idea of what these smell like. If you have not, that's okay. It's risk-free. You get your money back. All you got to do is use the tester, spray it. You don't like it, send it back. Get you something new. But hurry up, girl, because they running out. They run it down, they run it out down there at the dossier. Now listen, this video that I did is a heart-to-heart -heart video. It's not gonna be your normal laughing, funny joy. It's gonna be a serious video and it's makeup with the message. I'm doing my makeup, okay? And I'm talking to you about a situation that happened to me in my life. So let me know what you think. I really appreciate you guys listening to this message. Thank you so much. I love you to the moon and back. Next thing you will see is me with no makeup on, girl. Love you so much. Mwah. Let's go. Hello, all my beautiful queens. If you are new, welcome to the queendom. My name is Joya Moore. I am your resident fat girl. This is my channel, but your community. If you are not new, show the new girls what to do. Come through all of my veterans, okay? I love you guys so much to the moon and back. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Gigi. Thank you, Miss Belita. Thank you, Miss Piggy, Shonda, all my A1 Day ones, Shawana, everybody, Stacy, all of you that have been there for me from day one. I know you guys are watching and just knowing that you are here. Make sure girl feel good. Now, listen, y'all know, don't carry on, because y'all know Dossier pays the bills for your girl. Plus, I absolutely love their products. So, I wanted to go ahead and hurry up as quickly. Y'all, it's the holidays. I know y'all in there gobbling up, just gobbling up all of the things, all of the gifts. So thank you so much for letting Dossier sponsor this video and also getting over there to Dossier to purchase your Dossier perfume. It's so worth it. I absolutely love it. Baden stole the green apple. He just wearing it. Listen, click up here if you missed my first get ready with me that Dossier sponsored, okay? So there will be a link up here. So let's get right into this video. You guys are going to go ahead and get ready with me. I have on a ready-made, listen, from Miss Jemima. I kind of got the idea of cutting up my t-shirts because I really love that look on her. Shout out to Miss Jemima. So I have a cheap, cheap shirt from the Walmarts. Not Walmart, Walmarts, plural, okay? And that's what I am wearing. So what I'm hoping to do today is, I'm not sure, I'm not gonna tell you what today is because I'm not sure when you guys are seeing this video, but I'm hoping to get out of here and you know, I'm doing Vlogmas, so I wanna go ahead and get a Vlogmas done for you guys. So bear with me, okay? So listen, I want to talk to you guys while I do my makeup. Let's hope I can do this, okay? So if I'm not looking directly at the camera, don't get mad at your girl, okay? I'm doing the best that I can. How y'all think? How y'all like that angle? That's good? Okay. Many of you who have been with me for a long time know um, a lot of my story and a lot of my background and 
what I've been through and etc etc but some of you beautiful ladies don't really know so I have told in several of my motivational Mondays I used to do motivational Mondays which are going to be making a reappearance here in 2021 um, but on motivational Mondays I always talk about my past and what I've been through not because I'm stuck in the past but to let you ladies know that you can listen you can make it through anything if i can make it you can make it so i want you guys to be inspired encouraged empowered and uplifted okay so no matter what you're going through right now i don't care what it is i'm telling you you will make it through it okay what i told you guys that i went through was that i lost my house in a fire before my mom died i had was at home taking care of my mom because my brother had moved away um, to Orlando and he had, you know, was engaged and, you know, he had moved away. And because I was the daughter and I was, you know, the baby, I stayed home to take care of my mom, like physically take care of her. So my house burned down, long story short. Um, one of these days, I will tell that story again. But I often talk about what I went through and some of the stuff that I learned when my house burned down. Now, listen, I'm not talking about there was a house fire in the kitchen and we had to stay in a hotel for the night. No, I'm talking about my house burnt down to the ground to the point where it was uninhabitable and we were not allowed to go back in the house, not even to collect our things. Okay, to the point where all of my clothing smelled singed for like the next two months. I could still smell burning. That's how bad it was. So, and we were in the house at the time. So, the months that followed my house burning down really taught me a lot. It hurt me, but it also taught me a lesson it taught me that i was stronger than what i thought i was it taught me that everybody who i thought would be there for me may not be because god will put you in situations to where you know what I, this is something that i've learned god will put you in a situation okay where there's no way that anyone can get glory out of what he's done for you except him. God will put you in a position and you think to yourself, damn, I'm alone. I'm lonely. There's no one here for me. You look to your, your left, you look to your right, and there's no one. The reason why God does that is because he wants to get the glory out of the situation. He's going to elevate you from the situation, but he don't need nobody being like, oh, well, if it wasn't for me and if it wasn't for me, no. You need to be able to look back over your situation and say, wow, how did I get out of that? This time, um, it was actually October the 15th, okay? I remember like it was yesterday. The next day I woke up. And the, I almost told his name. The guy from the Red Cross had gotten us a hotel room. He paid for three nights. And he told me, he said, listen, I'm sorry, but this is the best I can do for you. I was out in the street, okay, with no shoes on. Because all I had, no bra, no shoes, nothing, right? So he gave me $200, okay, to go to Walmart and get me some clothes and get my mama some clothes and shoes for the night and to get something to eat because we hadn't eaten yet. Now, mind you, I have family in my town my family is well known my mother was well known because my mother was a very famous musician in my town 
So everybody knew me through my mother and everyone knows my family. And if you're on the outside looking in at my family, you would think, wow, you got a huge family. And my family is filled with doctors, lawyers, principals, nurses, lots of nurses, a lot of people in the medical field, mostly teachers though, lots of educators in my family from elementary all the way to college. We talking people who are published with doctoring degrees, okay? That's my family. I think the worst person in my family is a teacher's assistant. That's the low, lowest level of education, okay? Now, <clears throat> when my house burned down, not one of my family members, not one, offered me to come and stay with them. I had to stay in a hotel where there was pill bottles in the bathtub. Okay. I'm just painting a picture so I can let you know that just because you down today, don't mean you're going to be down tomorrow. And also just because someone is up today, don't mean that yesterday they was up too. So I went and my parents, we had always had a house. I had never, I didn't even know how to get an apartment. When my house burnt down, I was probably about 27, 26. I don't remember. I had never gotten an apartment. I didn't know how. I never knew how to get an apartment. The house burnt down. I had to go and get an apartment. Didn't have a dollar. Didn't have 50 cents. Had just paid all of my bills. Okay, because it was the 15th. So, you know, the first had just passed. I had just paid all of our bills. Both my mom and I. Um, I didn't have... You guys have to excuse me because... I get emotional when I think about this story. But I didn't have anything, y'all. As they would say, I didn't have a pot, a pot to pour piss out of or a window to throw it out of. I didn't have anything. So, I woke up in the morning. I never forget. One of these days, I'm going to show you guys the hotel where I was at when my house burned down. I'm going to show you. So, this is the thing. I woke up in the morning and I sat up on these stairs. The 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 hotel didn't even have a, a, a um, the hotel only had stairs. They didn't have an elevator. That's what I'm trying to say. I woke up. My mom was still asleep. I went and I sat on the stairs and I said, Excuse me. <laughs> I said, Lord, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to get out of this one, but I can't wait to see what's up. Because, man, that day, my mom had been seeing a nurse, you know, because she had had a stroke. And we were in the middle of, um, we had a caseworker, a nurse caseworker. And I always took off of work so I could be there when the nurse and the caseworker came. So that way they can, you know, I could tell them, hey, my mom needs occupational therapy. She needs physical therapy. You know, she's been making this kind of, you know, thing. She needs this. She needs that. You know, she needs a medical bed, whatever. So I had been seeing this nurse. And so the nurse called me and she said, it was like five o'clock in the morning. She said, Joy, I just came by the house. Like, where are you? What is going on? Mind you, this white lady had only been out there like maybe two or three times to see my mom. And I told her where I was at. And she said, you're where? I said, the house is burned down. She said, I know. She said, are you okay? I said, yes. I said, we're, you know, and I told her where we was at. 10 minutes later, she came with breakfast and she came with a hundred dollars. Mind you, I did not know this lady for Adam. She had only been taking care of my mom 
for like maybe two or three times, two, two or three visits, okay? Not very many visits. So she came by. Y'all, my makeup gonna be toe up because I'm forgetting all kind of steps. She came by, you know, the crack hotel I was at, basically. And she said, Joy, what do you need? And she told me, she said, listen, I live in a condo. She said, you cannot stay here in this hotel. She said, I live in a condo. I want you and your mama to come and stay with me in the condo. And she said, do you think your mom would be able to deal with stairs? I said, no. Now, mind you, this is a lady that I did not know from Adam. This lady had only met me twice. Okay, twice. But she saw the way that I took care of my mom. And she kind of like fell in love with me, you know? And she was like, she was like, you don't think George, my mom's name is Georgia. She was like, you don't think Georgia can do the steps? I said, no, I don't think she can do the steps. She said, okay, no problem. Long story short, between that lady and another lady that worked at the United Way and the American Red Cross, I was able to get an apartment I was able to get on the ground floor, which was not a nice apartment because we literally had to find an apartment in less than a week, okay? Going into the winter time and towards the end of the year when there's not a lot of people moving. And in addition to that, we didn't have no furniture. We had nothing. <laughs> I found an apartment. I didn't have no money for no down, like no um, deposit. I didn't have no money to get the light, my light bill, right? In order to, I had, they didn't turn the lights off at the place. They left the water, they had cut the electricity and the water off, right? When they was fighting the fire. Then they somehow put the water back on. Something happened to where they had ran up my electric bill to almost a thousand dollars. The people, the, um, I don't know how it happened. My electric bill got ran up to almost $1,000 in two weeks. I wasn't even at my house. Oh, God, you guys. So, they forgave my entire electric bill. I was able to move my lights. Because anybody who knows, you cannot move when you owe an electric bill. They will not let you move. Like, they won't let you. You know what I'm saying? You got to pay that bill before you can move it to another place. Girl... I got furniture. I was able to get us furniture. I was able to get into my place. I was able to move my mom into the place, get all of her medication. Cause all we lost all of that. Her medicine, everything was gone. I had to go back and get all of that stuff over again. <laughs> go get authorization sent back over again. I mean, it was just, Mind you, while and then explain to my job why I was coming into work literally with house shoes on. <laughs> I'm laughing because y'all don't understand. Like, I lost everything. And then I was calling my brother, and my brother, I think, I don't think he realized, like, what I think, because I called him in the middle of the night, and I'm like, bro, the house just burnt down. And he's like, what? He was like, what, you was cooking something in the kitchen? Like, what's wrong? He was like, stop playing. I said, no, the house burnt down, burnt down. Like, the house is gone. And it was his childhood home. And I just don't think that he departmentalized exactly what was going on. So he didn't come the night that the house actually burnt down he wasn't able to come over but he did come like a couple of days later you know because i think he felt like he had to be strong but you know he wasn't able to like come over you know and he has a wife and we were not able to stay with him so it was just it was one of the most difficult things i've ever been in my entire life but you guys, when I say that people came out of the woodwork that I did not even know to help me, there were so many people that I barely knew 
that bought me things for my like dishes and you know towels and that helped but none of them were related to me none of my family this is this is the basis of what i'm talking about none of my family came through for me and you guys that hurt me so bad but it taught me a valuable lesson i mean it really taught me so if you guys feel like your family is not being there for you or if you feel like you don't have anyone to help you you know when you're going through a hard time if you feel alone or if you're in the middle of something where you feel like you've lost everything don't worry you're gonna learn a lesson it's gonna hurt a little bit but you're gonna be restored 10 times better than what you've lost you guys look at me i'm no different than you i'm no better than you if I can make it through losing everything, starting completely over, going through the the disappointment of, can you imagine how much that hurt me? Like that my family would not even let me stay at their house. Listen, I have hundreds of family members that live in my city with million, I have a family members with million dollar houses literally that have their kids are not even home with them would not even call me and offer me to just stay there while i dealt with insurance or you know while i figured things out nope no one and i'm not bitter about it i'm not bitter about it at all I mean, and it's just, it's funny. I mean, even now to this day, I have family members that are asking me for things. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, girl, I, I, I just don't know. Like, I don't, I don't understand what their, what their thought process is. Because to them, they didn't do anything wrong. You know what I'm saying? To them, it's like, oh, well. You're doing okay now. You're doing real good. Girl, no thanks to you. Thanks to God. So listen, depend on God. I know everybody that believes differently, but I believe in Jesus. And I've learned that you cannot depend on people. Because people can be here today and gone tomorrow. Make sure there's certain things that happen that will be out of your control. And just make sure that you know you will, that will not always be the case. Trouble won't always last. Every single thing that happens, happens for a reason. Had I not gone through that fire, I would never be in a place that I am today. I would never... It's like I went through that fire because... I was in the wrong place. God wanted to move me to a different place. And that's the way that he chose to do it was by me being in the fire. But I don't, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Do I want to go through it again? Uh, no, absolutely not. Has it made me stronger? Yes. The way that I went through a fire and became a better person and came out on the other end stronger, happier. I mean, let's be honest. Before I went through that fire, what was I really doing with myself? I wasn't being an entrepreneur. I wasn't going to school like I should have been. I had actually Went through some drama that I shouldn't have been going through. Right? That I put myself through. That fire changed my life. Not only in a bad way.
that fire changed my way in a way to say, Joy, get your life together. You know, I learned a valuable lesson. I learned that I have to be independent because at the end of the day, I got to take care of me. And I can't expect people that I'm pouring into to pour back into me the same way. Because they just won't. You're going to look around and turn around and think that everybody's going to be there. And girl, they're not going to be there. I'm just telling you because I don't want you to go through the hurt and the disappointment that I went through. You can be great. You can make a comeback. You don't need nobody to get your stuff together. The only person that you need is you. If you have ever, ever listened to me, girl, if you ever listen to me, please. Listen to me today. No matter how difficult the time is that you're going through or that you're having, it's always sunshine on the other side of that. Always. I never thought in a million years I would make it. I don't know why, but I just never thought I would make it out of that crazy crack hotel. I'm going to go by there and show it to y'all so that y'all can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to see if I can get a room key and I'm going to go by there. I know you like Joy. It's not that serious, but it really is. When y'all see this room that they had me in, girl, and the type of people that was there, y'all gonna holler. Listen, you guys, I am out. We got some kind of dusty makeup look, girl. I'm going to go ahead and start, you know, get started with the blog. Listen, you girls, I love you. And I hope you know. You so rude. Now, you know I'm up here trying to do my blog. I mean, my get ready with me. I love you, ladies, to the moon and back. Listen, I know your, this makeup look may not be your cup of tea. But, girl, this is my makeup look. This is how I do it. If you have anything or any questions or things or comments or concerns or things that you want me to talk about or subjects that you want me to cover on our next Get Ready With Me, definitely drop them down below in, not in the description box, girl. Drop them down below in the comments. And please, please learn a lesson from me and my pain and my hurt. Don't get stuck. When you're going through tough times, keep going. Don't get stuck. Okay? Don't let that situation that you go through destroy you. Because it doesn't have to. It's a temporary thing. It's not permanent. It's all... Listen. Hello. It's a temporary situation. It's not a permanent situation. It could change at any moment. Just like it came, it will pass. This too shall pass. I promise you. So listen, when you get a chance, girl. Hold on a minute, wait. Get on over there. Like I said, this... 
Get Ready With Me was in collaboration with Dossier, I, or Dossier. I know it was a serious subject, and I just want to shout out to Dossier and say thank you so much for letting me be myself. But I just wanted to give you some makeup with the message, okay? This is makeup. Really? This is makeup and get ready with me with a message, okay? Um, shout out to Dossier. Make sure you go get your Fruity Magnolia and your floral yang yang fragrances from dossier i absolutely love them and appreciate them you guys all the information will be down in the description box if you have any questions comments and concern leave it down in the comments let me know if you feeling me i need your feedback this is one video if i ever needed you guys to comment Please comment on this video. Let me know, have you ever been through a difficult time where you felt like you were never gonna get out of that situation? You don't have to tell me what the situation is. If you want to, you know I'm gonna be down there listening. And wait, not listening. I'm gonna be down there reading <laughs> and paying attention. But let me know, if there's been a time in your life where you just didn't feel like you was gonna get through your situation, let me know how did you overcome it? What did you do? Because I know I got some superstars and superheroes on my A-team. I'm telling you right now, period. Okay? So, thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. I appreciate all that you do. I will definitely, definitely see you soon in the next video. Okay? Remember, beauty is a state of mind, not body. My mind stuck on gorgeous. What are you thinking? I want to know. Bye, girl.